Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am here going to show you how to set up the Arma, th Arma 3 Arma Commander mod m modules. Um, first things first, you have to locate the Arma Commander, which will be under the Systems and Module. M systems and Module. Um, the first thing you're going to need is your Arma Commander game mode. Uh, now, uh, once you place it, uh, go ahead and open it. Now you got four things you can set up here: maximum deployed group, scenario time, income, and income multiplier. Ma uh, maximum deployed groups is for each side. How many? Uh, so I just strongly suggest, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing an entire map kind of scenario like I, I do, I do I do around twenty to to thirty five. 35 is, is when I'm starting to lag and everything. But 35 is is, is alright. Basically, the the bigger mass, the the more groups you want to be able to have. And also, this also means it's actually doubled. So, if you put 20 here, you're actually having 40, uh, 40 all together. That's 20 for your team and 20 for the hostile team. So all to get, uh, so you might want to take that in consideration if your computer can't handle a, like a lot at once, and you're having uh, your battle buddies uh, inside as well. Uh, scenario time is how long you want the uh, game to go on for. You can have 15 minutes, 20, 30, 45, and all the way up to 10 hours. 10 hours where uh, I normally use 10 hours if if you want to use a, a annihilation kind of game mode where you have to capture all the points. But if you're just wanting wanting to see who can last longer or anything like that, I strongly suggest an hour because an hour can go, uh, 20, 30 minutes can go really, really quickly in this game. Um, income. I um, your income is how uh, is your points like how uh, every two uh, thirty seconds minute all that's how uh, it will take every every two minutes in, in the game you'll actually uh, you'll get your uh, income for calling in more units. Um, I normally set up uh, depends. It's either either a minute, two minutes. It like I said, um, it depends on what you want. In your mission, income multiplier. I believe this this uh, can double or uh, double triple your uh, how, how much you actually get. I'm not a hundred percent sure, so don't go off what I said about the income multiplier. If any, if any of you guys actually figure that out, drop a comment and let me know because that'd be great. But. I, if you if you don't want to mess with that, uh, just leave it at one. And and now uh, you'll need you need three uh, bases. You'll need uh, a base uh, for basically yourself and hostile hostile and uh, your base, your hostile base, and the capture zone. You can have hundreds. of Hundreds. It don't matter. Let's not do that though. But for instance, for the just uh, showing you guys how to make this, I'm going to have just three. Now, um, what you need to do is before you do anything else, go over here to one of the bases and have it set to west. I won't call it U.S. Just yeah. Uh, name your the area of the base it's optional but I strongly suggest you put a name for for you know um select what side like if you're on blue four blue four is west NATO is I mean not NATO uh off four is east and independent is independent and then there's empty you wanna have it on west or one of the teams uh, garrison. That's how many soldiers will be protecting that base. If a hostile, if a hostile unit comes around, 
it'll spawn in 10 guys to protect it. Value, this is how how many points you'll actually earn if you, uh, if you, you know, have the, own the space. And for bases, I strongly suggest you have it on hide. Unless you're doing PvP, which that's actually possible. But for AI, if you're fighting AI, keep it on hide. Or if you want, you can have it on show. But it'll just make it a bit more challenging for you. But anyway, uh, I'm going to keep it on hide for the sake of this uh, thing. Now, there's your hostile. Uh, there's, your, there's your personal base. You can actually put a outpost or anything like that inside of it, and it will not hurt it. Just make sure this little, this trigger, the, uh, this module is actually not in something, because this is actually where your flag will be. So, it, uh, once you do that, you need a squad. If it's for a single player, you can you can only put, you can place just one guy. If it's for multiple guys. Uh, if it's multiplayer, put as many units there as you want, and make sure they're all playable. Like that. Now, uh, you can also take the weapons, uh, like a squad. If you want to do this, this works as well. You can right click, sync, and sync it to the base. These guys will spawn in as if they were part of the base. So there will be friendly, uh, friendly uh, guys just walking around protecting the base. Whoops. So you could put, put them anywhere and all that, and it will not matter. You could just keep them there, just, and they will stay in this vicinity. Or if the base is being overran, they'll probably run off like, like, uh, like Arma does. Uh, and that's that. That's how you set up the enemy, uh, the friendly base. You can do the exact same for the hostile base as well. You know, go over to your hostile base, set it up, East, Russian, because why not? I uh, give them five. Uh, weapon team, uh, uh, air defense. Set these guys to. Oh, and the reason why you want to have it, uh, when you're selecting these guys, you want to have, uh, select only the, the guy in command. Do not select the entire squad. Now, that's done. You can do the same thing, you know. Boom, done. There we go. Now, the... This is the capture zone. Go in here. Uh, cap uh, put whatever you want into it. Uh, the name wise. Or you could just leave it blank. And make sure you put it on empty. Uh, if you put it on empty, don't no own it. And it's basically a battle zone. That's, uh, uh, once you capture it, this is how many uh, garrison will... How many units will actually spawn there? You know, basically same uh, same thing for these guys, but uh, the only difference is is that you can't, you can't put uh, you can't sync a squad up to it, nor uh, and you cannot actually pair drop units in here. Uh, you can pair drop. Now, once that's done, uh, you want to go back into your modules and select, com uh, select something called the battalion. You want to place two of those. One's for the hostile team, which is uh, east, uh, east and west. Now, requisition points, this is how many points you actually start out with to spawn units. I, uh, depending... Depending on your mission, it, it's all up to you how much you want them to start out with. If you want to start, out, uh, I do strongly suggest you you start out with fifty units. I mean fifty points. But I don't. Uh, it's actually recommended that you do a hundred through two hundred points at the start. 
and your and now you can base income that's how much yeah points you get uh type this is where you could select your your uh team uh for west you can you can select the uh all the nato nato mechanized battalion ranger battalion and you can select the custom battalion i i am making i have made another video for custom battalions so if you want to see that it'll come out next week um uh, for now, I'm just going to use the NATO Ranger Battalion. Actually, Mechanized Battalion, because, I, you know, why not? Um, and now you're done with that. Now you can go over here, do the same thing for CSAT. You can, uh, for CSAT, you can use the Recon Battalion, Guard Infantry Battalion, and Tank Battalion. I'm going to say on Recon to make it easier on me. But, uh, like I said... It, it also works with the custom battalion, but you had to set that up by yourself. But that is basically how you set up this game. A game mode. Now, if everything works correctly, all you have to do is just, uh, when you load in. Now, if everything works, you should be able to have all that. Now, you can call in your infantry squads. Your... Panthers, tank destroyers, slammers, all that craziness into the battlefield. I do strongly suggest you spawn these guys quite a, a little bit, like, as far away as you can from the base. So you don't run into the problem of them, like, falling into your base if you actually made a custom base. Now... You can also take over your squads, which you just have to select one of your teams, which for instance, I'm going to use Alpha 1. All you have to do is just select on them, select your squad, and switch. And then you'll be able to command that, that squad and rush on the combat. Whatever you do, do not bring your command units into combat if you do that and your guy gets killed if your guy actually gets killed you will lose that is just the AI way of saying haha I won you loser but I'm being a shot at um, that's how you basically set up this this uh, this game mode once you actually set this up and everything uh, go ahead and make a save for it, which I'm going to put its testing zone. Now, once you got the testing zone and everything, you want to you want to go ahead and tab out. And I got I have a code that you will, will have to put in. But uh, first thing you need uh once you once you actually uh get uh back out of here, you need to find your missions, which will be under your armor three other profiles. Uh, this PC documents armor three other dash other profiles, your name, missions, and or wherever you, wh whichever you saved your mission to, and then find your mission. Now the first thing you need to do is is create a a .txt file. Uh, once you find that, I'll give you a second to find that real quick because I was talking really quickly. But um, once you find that. You uh, go ahead and make a uh, right click inside your mission folder and create a just a text document. Once you do that, open it, uh, go to save, uh, save as uh, description, the script dot ext. Make sure you type this in and put in a save as type. Uh, save as type needs to be a all files uh, or it won't work. And click save. Now, you can close this and get rid of that text document. We don't need it no more. Once you uh, set up that 
description.ext. Go ahead and reopen it. And down in the, down in the description, I'll put this. I'll put this in for you. But you need to put this into that. Uh, th that ext. Uh, once you do that, just hit file save. This is for multiplayer, by the way. Um, there we go. Now, if we go into multiplayer. Yeah, there we go. If it did work, you'll have something called a parameter at the top. Go ahead and click that. And this actually sets up. And this actually makes it where you, uh, you can you can actually have different stuff. Like if you want a different, different time of day uh, instead of the one you got, pff, no problem. There you go. You, you can set up to zero. Uh, basically 12 o'clock at night to uh, any time of the, uh, of the day um, you can do weather there's clear cloudy overcast rainy you know all that good stuff battalions you can set those up as well uh, scenario link you can set that up starting resources you can also set that up as well maximum group per side you can set that up as well, it can, but it only goes up to twenty. Sharing commanding, shared commanding. This is this is some. Uh, if you want, you want to make sure this is actually true, so that you, uh, if you're playing multiplayer, you can actually do. Uh, you and your buddies can actually calling guys together and all that, music, all that craziness, and that's that. And uh, there is a common uh, glitch where you will have a black screen if you didn't type it in correctly. Well, your buddies will have the error, not so much you, since you're a host. But now, uh, say if there was a, a friend of mine was on, he will now be able uh, to join and all that. And actually call in units and all that craziness and cause havoc and basically work together um this oh i want to also point this out that this actually does work with task force radio it, for those that are that for whatever reason is curious about that um this uh it and this will work with task force radio you just have to slap down the you just have to slap down the the uh, module for it if you don't know how to set that up I'll make another video on how to set that up for servers but allegedly you really don't need it you need to put down the module from what I'm seeing what I've seen in the past but uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh, I hope this actually helped you guys out uh, if anything was confusing please uh, drop a comment and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And and uh, click on the bell so you know every time I upload. Uh, when I upload a video. Thank you all for watching. And I will talk to you all in the next video. See you guys. Blah, 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 blah.